What is up? This is Colonial Puppet, and this is going to be another uh, skyscraper tutorial, because as you can see I have this large plot of land that I need to fill up before I release the download of this city, uh, the Titan City version 4 download, which is going to be released on the 16th. I um, wanted to fill this in, and I wanted to do another tutorial on how to build a skyscraper, but this time I'm going to do a more detailed one, kind of like... I'm looking like something like this right over here kind of like a Victorian style or like Art Deco style uh, skyscraper and not too tall something like this and not too big like uh, this big guy right here kinda wanna make something small I'm not actually going to cover the entire plot of land I'm actually going to kinda like cut out a little section of it and just build a bunch of small, uh, small, small buildings inside of it um, starting with this corner over here just to kind of break up there's like a bunch of big buildings over here and I kind of want to scale things down uh, especially in this section of the city so uh, got my palette or my uh, building materials picked out light gray stained clay stone brick stairs sea lanterns black stained glass polished andersite or you can use stone if you're using a version that doesn't have that buttons for details like on the facade, my wooden axe for world edit uh, torch, and actually I'm going to switch that out because I already have a sea lantern with a stone slab because you can never go wrong with stone slabs. So again I'm going to start from the corner, one, two, three, four, uh, and from this corner, this is going to be the corner of the building I'm going to build up. Actually I'm going to go five, so one, two, three, four, five, because this is going to be a kind of dynamic uh, facade. It's going to like go in a little bit and out a little bit. So I want to give myself as much room for a uh, uh, sidewalk as possible. So I'm going to do this like so. And build out like that. Making like a cool like W or M. One, two, three, four five six it's going to be six blocks high to get all the detail in uh, if you make it four blocks high then uh, there isn't much room for detail in the facade that'll make sense once I start adding things but uh, all right now I'm going to add three in like that or three windows two blocks wide and then I'm going to add boom 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 that uh, boom 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 like that three and then uh, one more or uh, then um, I'm gonna mirror what I've done so that guy one two three boom and then the three more. Uh, boop, boop, boop. And finally the um, corner we have built right here. So goes in, then over two. I'll see if I can mirror this. It's kind of complicated, I guess. Three, four, five, six. All right, so I have that, and then one more. I'm deep in thought. I'm trying to get this right. All right, so okay, I get it. I'm an idiot. All right. 
right, so... I think that's how it looks. Yeah, that's it. Alright. Next, I'm going to build these up five. One, two, three, four. Total of five, that is. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then... Uh, one, three, four, five... Debating on... I'll build this up five, but this up four, like that. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I'll build all these up five, making a total of six. So all the way up. When I fit, when I say five, I mean six because uh, there's already one block placed on the ground. It's already one block tall, so building it up another five will make it six, if that makes sense. So. One, two, three, four. I build it up four, making it a total of five. So these go up four. And that's the wall of the building. The one wall of the building. Now I'm going to use brick stairs like this. All the way, or actually, oops. One, two, three. Doesn't matter how many. That looks cool. build it all the way across connecting these or actually for um I messed up for the ones sticking out like that uh, build them out like this I'm sorry my frame rate keeps crashing I'm not a fan of uh, fraps but it is what I use to record these videos but it takes a toll on the CPU, I'm guessing. Or it's just a memory hog in general. Alright. Now I'm... Now you can kind of see what I'm doing. Just going underneath all the ones we placed, like so. Pretty cool. Next, I'm going to do this. The three block wide things where we had the f outermost one stop at five blocks. I'm going to build around that like that. There's two of them, so that is what it looks like. Um, next for these, I'm going to put the buttons. Just kind of make it look cool. Boop. Boop. Poop. All right, and I will put buttons here too. I'm going to turn my computer's fan on. This might be overheating. Uh, next, I'm going to put the black stained clay or the uh, black stained glass in as windows, like so. You can use uh, pane, window panes as well. doesn't really matter. Um, I use panes a lot for buildings like this, so I'm going to switch it up and use glass blocks. But it doesn't matter. It's up to you. You also don't have to use black. You can use like gray or pretty much any color you want. I'd advise against like red and greens and stuff because that just would look weird. It would clash with the uh, light gray stained clay. But there we go. It's a nice... Uh, building front and on the inside I'm just going to place some uh, lights torches that is looks pretty neat um, now I'm gonna count how many blocks this is so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 
47. So it's 47 blocks long. I want to see if I have 47 blocks so that if I'd have to build a different wall on this side, if it's going to be rectangular or square. Alright, so I counted that and I determined that this would fit as a square. So I'm just going to build this wall uh, three more times. One coming off of here, two, three, to just make a square. So I will cut me building that and see you when I'm done building the other three walls, which are just going to be a copy of what I just did. So you don't have to watch me do it again. So see you when I'm done that. All right, I'm back, and as you can see, I built the other four, uh, or other three walls to make perfect square uh, building. Or not perfect square, but a square building with equal sides, four equal sides. Now I'm going to build the core of the building, which is going to be in the center. So since it's square, it's pretty easy to find the center. This is obviously the center of the wall. So I have to just find and mark where that center meets with this center, which would be right here. So this is the center, I think. Yep, this is the center of the building. Just zoom out. And this is where I'm going to build out the core of the building. So uh, uh, if you watch my other tutorial, I'm going to get some iron. I'm going to do it pretty much the same way. So if you already watched that uh, tutorial and know how to do this, uh, then you can skip this part. But if not, uh, I will build the uh, core of it now. So I'm going to build out two. And uh, from here, I'm going to build out, let me think. Actually, I'm going to build out one, two, one, two, three, one, two, like that. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. And then put stone. We can get rid of this since we know where the center is now. All right, so next I'm going to build out from here one two three like that one two three alright and then I'm going to do the same thing here actually scratch that uh, here let me think about this alright so All right, that's how I'm going to do it. So skip two and then build three like that. Do it for this one too. And then uh, cap them with uh, iron like so. And um, then build out all the way to here. So it matches with that one. Oops. Like that. Do the same thing here. Boom. And then you can just connect all these. Like so. If you don't know what I'm doing, I will tell you in a second. Basically, this is going to be the stairwells of the building so that people can get up. There's going to be four of them so that one, so that there isn't a lot of traffic. You have four different ones to choose from. There's a lot of people going up and down the building, which there should be since it's a skyscraper. So one, two, three, four, four uh, stairwells. Inside, you're going to build three like that. So, two blocks on either side here and two blocks on either side there. Just build three like that. Actually, I'm going to focus all my attention on this side right here because this is going to be the exact same thing, only a mirror. So, I'm just going to build this once so you don't have to see me build it twice. Uh, so, yep. I'll just focus over here now. One, two, three, four, five. Build all these up five, making it a total of six. One, two, three, four, five. Six blocks high. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, two, three, four, five. 
one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Build these up. Same height. Sweet. Uh, then you're going to build this up too, making it a total of three. And then for the rest of it, just build it all the way up so that you make a door hole like that. Same thing here. And then same thing in between here. Build this all the way up. Neat. And then you're going to do the same thing for all the openings, pretty much. So this one, this one, and then the two on the sides, like this. And then after this, I'm going to fill in the steps and then light it uh, from the outside. And yep. So this is pretty much how most buildings are built in this city. With like a core that has stairwells. Sometimes we put elevators and stuff like that. Um, to make it fancy, go and get some quartz stained clay. Or quartz uh, bricks. Or steps, I mean. Build it up three. Just got rid of stone slab, but that is what I need. I will replace that. So, build it up three and then fill in this space with that. And then build up another three. So that it takes you to the next level once it is built. And if you build this on top of each other, it'll match up perfectly as steps. You can go all the way up and down each floor in the building. Simple way of building stairs. Some people I always see build like the spiral staircase, which isn't very, uh, I don't know, it's, it's kind of, they're usually uneven and also there's like, I always notice that there's never any floors in between. It's always like a big empty skyscraper with a spiral staircase in the middle that just takes you to the top floor which isn't very skyscraper like now I'm going to go up to and fill these in with that just to kinda light the outside of the building and if you want you can put them in here as well now to light the insides you uh, just go up one come up here and go up one and there you go up one and up one sweet so that is how you light uh, a skyscraper uh, or a uh, skyscraper stairwell now I'm gonna do the same thing I did here but mirrored right here in this footprint so I will see you when I'm done that alright I am back and as you can see I built the same thing just over here and mirrored so that they're facing each other um, next I'm going to fill in the uh, the roof so I'm going to take some clay put that in there uh, put some clay right here put some clay uh, here and then take my little axe set the point set the second point then it's set clay Hooray! Alright. Do the same thing here. And if you do not have world edit, you can always just fill it in by hand. Might take a little bit more, but I, y you don't, won't need mods to build this building. You can, uh, everything you do here, 
everything I do in these tutorials can be done in vanilla Minecraft as well. So do not worry. All right, do the same thing over here. Boom. Boom. And that. Set the clay. Let it think. And fill it in. Hooray. And you can use any uh, stained clay. Uh, any material you want for the ceiling it does not really matter but I just like to use something like clay I know some people don't like the sound of clay when you walk on it I don't mind it I like it more than wool wool just kinda sounds weird and also clay is inflammable which is always a plus I'm just gonna fill in the small gaps by hand like so. Alright. So that is a floor. That's how I'm going to build the floor. Um, let's go inside of it. Show you around. Looks pretty good. Just leave it open for people to put office spaces. Oh, and I almost forgot. Boom. Boom. Don't forget the space in between the stairwells so there is your core and if you want to be fancy you can do something like this neat let's kinda unify the two looks pretty good alright so next I'm going to do what I just did again seven or five more times six more times giving it a total of seven stories so I'm gonna build this floor again six times on top of this uh, so I will see you when I am done that. Alright, I am back and as you can see there's a problem uh, on the first floor. Apparently I went too crazy with the laying of the clay, so just fix that by um, replacing it like that. And now we have a seven story building. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, but there is a problem. Uh, it just looks like seven floors stacked on top of each other. There's no distinguishing uh, details in these bottom floors that would kind of make it look like a lobby. So to fix that, we're going to actually, well I'm going to focus, since each side of the building is identical, I'm just going to focus on this front right here, these two stories. Um, I'm going to keep the center how it is, mostly, uh, and I'm going to get rid of right here so I'm gonna take my um I'm gonna get rid of these sides so here and over there so I'm going to select that and I'm going to select that and set it to air. She gets rid of it, kills all the little uh things that were on there. Um do the same thing over here. select that and all the way to here set air which basically just removes everything um, next what we're going to do is uh, try and make these look more like actually you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this select that select that oops Uh, select that and select that set air and so it got rid of that so now this is what our building looks like not too pretty but don't worry first I'm going to oops get rid of these 
make this one big continuous thing. Get rid of the buttons, don't need those. And so this is what it looks like. Uh, oops, I meant to get rid of this layer as well. So this is what we have. Not too interesting. Get rid of these because these are going to be doorways and such as well as this one. Now to distinguish these as doorways all you really have to do is take this stain pane a bit like that and put these like this and you got yourself some fancy doors. Um, but next what I'm going to do is actually get rid of these as well. Sorry, I'm like deleting a lot of stuff. Which again is kind of a pain for those who have uh, vanilla. But I'm going to build out these covering Alright, so that's what it looks like. Covering the steps doesn't really matter though. It's not like you're going to be able to see them. Um, I'm actually going to stop there. Build in like that. Get rid of these two. Build in like that. Build this all the way down. Build this all the way up. Like so. Awesome. Next I'm going to do the same thing for each window that is shown. So build in like that. But I'm going to stop here. And I'll show you one in a second. Because we need store windows. Built these all the way out. Boom. Uh, I'm actually going to build out here as well. So that looks pretty cool. Um. And uh, next, I'm going to do the same thing I did over there, but over here. So again, just build this all the way out, like so. And then, uh, boom. Boom. Sorry if this is confusing and if I'm not talking a lot, but I'm deep in thought trying to get this to look right. Alright. Set the time to zero so you can see better. <coughs> Excuse me. Next I'm going to connect these like this. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, take my brick uh, steps and build these back. Skipping this center part, I'm going to have something different planned for this. Alright. And then you just fill in all of this with glass like so again leaving this open spot we'll work on that next 
Actually, I'll work on the bottom half next. All right. Looks good. I think kind of differentiates this bottom part. Uh, then I'm going to actually uh, build this in with the polish andersite. Like so. And what these are going to be are just really big store windows. Oops. Like that. So huge store windows. Pretty nice. So that kind of adds to the street life of the city. So you could put anything really in these huge windows. Back up, see how that looks. Looks pretty cool. All right. Oops, forgot. Then, uh, before I fill this in, I'm going to relight these, like so. And what this is going to be is pretty much a blank thing. So I'm actually going to put two windows on either side. Get these back. And I know there's, I, I'm almost 100% sure there's an easier way of doing what I'm doing, or a more efficient way, but this is all just kind of off the cuff. And then I'm going to fill this in with, do I want that? No, I actually want to get some stone. Oops. here like that just fill this all the way in like that looks pretty neat and lastly fill it in like that then I'm going to take my stone slab and build it out three and then fill it in like that. There you go, you got a building front, which looks pretty cool, distinguishes the floors from each other. So it just doesn't look like a bunch of floors stacked on top of each other. Now I'm going to do that on every side. So I'm going to cut it so you don't have to watch me build all this again three more times. So I will see you when I'm done doing this on the other sides. All right, I'm back, and as you can see, I put all the all the sides are now like this uh, so now I'm gonna go to the top of the building and as you can see I built up the core one more time that is because I'm going to put another uh, floor on top of here but first I'm going to cap off the floors we have so far uh, again I'm just going to do this once so you don't have to do it you don't have to watch me build the same thing a bunch of times so basically what I do is I just kind of connect them like so just all the way across like that and that uh, break these build this all the way up Same thing on this side. Oops. Mess that up. Get rid of the buttons. I will go in and fix that light in a second, but first let me get rid of these. Break into the building. 
replace that light and the window. All right. Then to add some coolness to it, I'm just going to do this. So that looks pretty neat. Um, next, I'm going to add some stone brick slab like this. To the tops, all the way around. I did not. Oops. All right. So that's what we have. Pretty cool. Actually, oops, mess that up. All right. So this is what the top looks like. I'm just going to do that on the other three sides that are left. Exact same thing, so I will see you when I am done that. Alright, I'm back and this is what I have now. Built all the other walls. So next I'm going to start the new uh, kind of building. So it's going to be kind of like a stack effect. Like if you stack blocks on top of each other and uh, it's like they start to get smaller. So like, I'll show you like the one white building I showed you so uh, that sections this section smaller than that one that one's smaller than this one I'm gonna do the same thing on this building so uh, I'm gonna start with the new wall uh, first by counting in one two three that is going to be the corner of the wall same thing over here boom one two three Boom, boom. Time set to zero so it doesn't get too dark. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, then, same thing like I did on the other one. Only these two are going to be three blocks. Actually, I'm going to do. Uh, I'll make them th three blocks. Why? Or I can just do this again. That'll be cool. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. all the way like that Sorry, I'm so quiet. Or maybe it's a good thing, I don't know. Alright. Break these three down as well as these three. Alright, so. Those are down. Now I'm going to add this again. Oops. All the way across. And down like that. Boom, 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 boom. Pretty much like the first floors that we built, but just a little bit different, a little bit smaller. I think this is going to be... I'll make this three stories tall. So I'll do this three more times. Well, after I build the other. I'm going to do the same thing where I just build this face. 
and then do it three more times. You get the pattern by now. Alright, like that. Pretty cool. Buttons again. Just go. I don't feel like looking for them. So do that middle click. Just thanks again for showing me how to do that. There's so many things like my channel has a lot of Minecraft videos. You might call it a Minecraft channel, but I really don't know all that much about the game. I've said this before, but I don't play survival. When I do, it's heavily modded. And just for the purpose of making YouTube videos, maybe. Or ideas for getting ideas for YouTube videos. But I don't really know a lot of the mechanics of the game. Like, uh, I don't really feel the need to learn them. Like, potions and all that stuff. Because it doesn't have anything to do with building buildings. So, this is what I got. Pretty neat. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, wait, I forgot. But, yeah. Don't know how to upgrade weaponry and stuff like that. I just know how to build and uh, what blocks look good. So I'm gonna do that that wall that face three more times there there and there. So I'll see you when I'm done that. All right, I'm back, and as you can see, the other three walls are here. So it's one big room now. All I have to do is fill it in with clay, which is what I'm going to do right now. Boom, and of course I'm going to use world edit this set clay same thing here boom boom oops fuck that up then the X And once that is done, I am going to, uh, I think I'm going to build this floor three more times, and then followed by one more kind of uh, section. It's like going to be like one story tall, if not less, or I mean maybe two, so one or two. But yep, there we go. Pretty easy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to build this two more times, making a total of three stories. So i see you when I am done that. Alright, so I'm back, and as you can see, three more stories. Uh, or two more stories, total of three. But before we get started on any work up there, I'm going to actually take the bottom floor and break all the bottom glass so that and do this so that the glass doesn't go right up against the clay and again kinda add a level of detail to it making it look like it wasn't just uh, plopped on there so go around break all the bottom ones, you don't have to fill it in with uh, polished andersite stone like I said or uh, Cayenne stained clay is always good, or cyan stained clay. Um, yep, just any kind of mute color. Uh, I sometimes use stone slabs as well. Two stacked on top of each other. So, all the way around, like this. And, yep. One more side. Like that. Alright, next I'm going to fill in this area with uh, 
clay or um, gray carpet so all the outside clay is going to get covered so I'll just do this one side and then cut it till I'm done when I'm done all that so just to show you what I'm talking about everything pretty simple just everywhere where there's clay on the outside not on the inside just on the outside just fill it in like this all the way I'll do this one side alright and then just do that for here the other side and behind this part so I'll see you when I'm done that. Alright, as you can see, I'm done. And it's also nighttime, which is good, because now I'm going to quick add some exterior lights. Just right here, on where it, these kind of vertical things stick out. Just three, one on each side. Or three on each side. That is a total of 12. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom just to kind of make it look cool. Lighting is very important in making buildings look nice. So that looks cool. Awesome. Uh, and while I'm at it, I might as well add some lighting here. Boom, boom. Just on every side. Just to kind of light up this blank. Uh, like a logo can go there or something. It's up to you. I personally won't put anything there. Or not in this video. I'll leave it blank, but... It's tended that a logo would go there. Or like a design or something. But yep. Looks pretty cool. Well lit. Alright, next I'm going to do the top. Like I did here. But here, so... I'll just do one side again, so you don't have to watch me be repetitive. A fall off. Nope. Sweet. Again, just uh, extend these all the way up. Don't need the buttons anymore. Boom. 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 Alright. Extend these up. Can even fill them in like this. Oops. Alright. And then lastly filling in actually I'm going to do this make the middle one up one, that's kind of cool and then lastly cover the rest of it in stone brick slab alright so I'll do that on the other three sides as well as build up the core one more story. So I'll see you when I am done that. All right, and I am back. And as you can see, did what I said. All the uh, sides are finished and there's a new level of the core here. Uh, so this is going to be like the last floor pretty much. So I'm just going to build in one, two, three. Uh, I'll make it here. Or, yeah. This is the corner, right? And I'm going to skip. Actually, wait. I'm going to do that over here as well. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully, this works. One, two, three, four, five, two. It does. Sweet. So basically. I'm going to do this. Looks weird, I know, but it will make sense in a bit. But 
actually, I'm not going to do that just yet. So build everything up. Five blocks to make it six blocks high. Sorry, this is so repetitive. Again, I only do this once. And cut the other three walls of this. It is a tedious job building skyscrapers in Minecraft. But oh well. The end result is always cool. And makes it worth it, I guess. Alright, almost done. Neat. Alright, so that's what we have. Looks interesting. I know, but uh... One last thing, I'm gonna do this. Alright, and then in here, I'm just gonna put... A bunch of... Uh, actually, skip the first and the last one. Alright, so I'm going to do that three more times, so I will see you when I'm finished doing that. Alright, I'm back, and as you can see, not only did I do all the other walls, but I also filled in, uh, like I did down there, with carpet, even in between these little spaces, all the way around. So if you want to do that, then i do that now. But now I'm going to fill in, oh, excuse me, um, the rest of this with clay. Boom. 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 And finally here. Oops. Lastly, right here. Alright. So, this is what we have so far. Pretty cool. Next, what I'm going to do is start at the corner and just build all the way around like this. Uh, what essentially is going to be on the top is a giant uh, pyramid looking thing. Glass pyramid to top the building off. thought that would be cool to have. Especially on a building that looks like this. It's going to be blue. Which I know might clash, but it's kind of like the... Sometimes it's cool when like the cap of a building kind of clashes with the rest of it. And it has a cool contrast. Oops, this is really hard to do actually. Should have just done that. Alright. That looks cool, right? Then I'm going to go in and fill in these spaces with stone. Uh stone steps. Stone brick steps. this all the way around all these little gaps just kind of give the building some detail followed by exterior lights all the way around again tedious work but it must be done all four sides, oops. 
Probably should have done this actually. Uh, well, I built the f uh, first one, but oh well. So you wouldn't have to watch me do it four times. And just do it on one wall, but it doesn't matter. I'm rambling. Alright, there we go. Can't really tell what the light looks like, but you will want to get dark. Uh, now I'm going to take stone and put one here, one here, take my trusty wooden axe, hit that, hit that. This will be cool. T set stone. Awesome. So zoom out and see what it looks like. Looks like a pretty cool building. Next I'm going to add the um I'll start adding the what is going to be the uh final touches to the building, which is the dome pyramid looking thing. All that good stuff. Starting with... Oh wait, how am I going to space this? I'll actually space these. So give it a space. Here, I'll undo that. Sorry. Two, two, so two, uh, give it a space of two. Like that, all the way around. This will actually be the foundation of the pyramid. Like sloped roof thing, glass pyramid we'll have on the top. I haven't looked into if there's a copy-paste function in World of It. It would be cool if there was. For some reason, I think there is. Could be wrong, though. Space them three apart, like that. It's getting dark, so uh will be able to see what the exterior lights look like. I'm done spacing these apart. That looks cool. Yeah, it looks neat. Um, next, I'm going to take. I think I'm going to make it light blue. So I'm going to take light blue pane. Uh, put it. Don't need the carpet anymore, I don't think. Place the pane all around. So, not too shabby. Now I'm going to put lights on the inside, like so. All the way around. I think I have smooth lighting turned off, which is why it's doing that weird glitch thing with the light. So that's what it looks like. Pretty cool. Um, actually, I forgot. I might want to do... Uh, hmm. I'll do this. I'll bring the corners up one. this and put stone brick slabs all over like I've done just to keep it consistent All 
the way around. I think this is the last. Yep. This is the last uh, side. So awesome. This is what we have. Looks pretty snazzy, if you ask me. Um, and now I'm going to start on the actual uh, uh, actual pyramid thing. Not before filling this in. T set stone. Awesome. Um, and yep, next I'm going to start on the thing. So I'm going to take some uh, light blue stained clay. And I'm going to need also stone slab, which is somewhere. Oops. I always do that. Alright, so basically what I'm going to do is just build all around the perimeter like this. I don't want it to be too tall. So I think I'm going to make, make each step two blocks wide. Alright. Yeah, I'll do that. Don't know how that's going to make the top of it, but it should work out fine. So, just like this. All the way around. And then uh, take a layer of sea lantern like this build it all the way around and then Just cover the top in stone slab. The two don't cover the sea lantern. Just the uh, glass. Oops. I'll do one more layer and then uh, cut to when I'm done. Because I'm just going to follow this. Until it gets weird, then I'll cut back. Because once it starts getting towards the top of this pyramid, it might... I don't know how the spacing is going to be, so I'll show you how to do that when I get that far. But, uh, yep. Last side. So that looks pretty cool. And that's what I mean just like this. Do the same thing, only on the inside and on top of the sea lantern. So, uh, this is going to be two blocks wide again. All the way around. Awesome. And then the sea lantern. Oops. And again, this is going to be the last last layer I do of it before cutting. And I'll 
I'll cut that once I get to the top. It's really a pain in the butt to use stone slabs. Don't know why I use them so much. They look cool, but slabs in general are just annoying to put down. Because when you do this, you have to set the one again. Oops. Actually, that might be a better place to build from here. Oh, no. Never mind. Oops. Alright. So you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. I hope... really digging sea lanterns just like a simple light block glow soon so ugly alright so I'm gonna keep doing that until I reach towards the top so I will see you when I'm done that alright I'm back and as you can see pretty much finished it except for this top part uh, which I'm going to fill in differently I think uh, as you can see this is what I have uh, I did um, one, two, three, four, five. Total of five uh, layers of this. So this is the sixth. Uh, so I'm going to do it like that. And then from the bottom, I'm actually going to build a stone thing up like that. One more stone slab around it. And, uh, boop. Yep, so <laughs> that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty much finished. I'll add some uh, shrubbery around the building. This is all, uh, you know, you don't have to do this. You can do this anywhere you want. I'm not that good at uh, plant work and landscaping. So, uh, yeah, don't know why there's sand right there. But like you could do things like this. Put a. I use I still use glowstone for lighting like underground stuff like that. Do things like that on the bottom, just to kind of light it up. Make it pop. Do it to this side as well. Always got to make it look fancy at the bottom. So that's where most people are going to see the building from. Which kind of stu sucks for tiered buildings like this. Because the building looks cool from the air, but when you look up, you can't see like all the other tiers. You can kind of see that one, but that's about it. So yeah. But still, looks cool. I feel like a lot of people are going to be flying around the city rather than uh, actually... Like walking around it in survival mode where they can't actually see the buildings. But oh well. Even if people can't see it from above by flying, it's surrounded by much taller buildings that you could see it from. One more. Yep, that's pretty much the end of this tutorial on how to build a skyscraper. I think I'll be doing a lot of these, so you guys seem to be liking them. Um, again, I'm going to do little shrubs on either side. These always look cute. Neat. But yep, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and uh, coherent enough to follow along. If not, ap I apologize. I think it's going to be pretty easy to follow along. I know it's going to take a while to actually build this building if you're doing it by hand. If you have MC Editor, World Edit, 
probably won't take that long. I did this over the span of a couple hours. So yeah. Zoom out, see what this building looks like. There you go. This has been Colonial Puppet. Be sure to check out any other tutorials I have. My airplane, airport let's build I mean. Uh, and my other skyscraper let's build. But this is what we built. Hope you found, found this useful. Be sure to check out my other videos. And other than that, this has been Colonial Puppet. Have a good day.